Uh, this is a case of a patient with a 4 centimeter right internal iliac artery aneurysm, which you treated by embolizing using uh, coils and then sealing the origin with a VBX graft. We approach this uh, in dual format from both the arm and retrograde from the right groin. Uh, you can see uh, passing the wire retrograde from the brachial artery down the descending thoracic aorta and accessing through a previously placed stent graft into the um, right external iliac. This was an alto graft which had been placed previously. Uh, at this point in time, we uh, then uh, used a long burn catheter and a, a wire to access the internal iliac uh, artery. Mm. Um, the arteriogram shows uh, several things, that it's a nice uh, long segment from the internal, um, which we could get access into, given a stable platform. One problem is that large branch, which comes off fairly close to the aneurysm. We really want to make sure that we occlude that, otherwise the aneurysm could reperfuse. Um, on the panel to your left, you can actually see the autograft, which we've uh, traversed in order to be able to get down into the um, the aneurysm on the right side. Uh, catheterization of this was actually uh, fairly easily. And the, the important principles of embolization is you want to have your diagnostic catheter well seated into the aneurysm and ideally the uh, sheath very close to the takeoff of the internal iliac artery. And you see the wire is actually retroflexing inside that aneurysm. Here we're using a quick cross catheter. We actually changed out and put a stiff glide wire in here um, before uh, we start the embolization process. Here we're basically just advancing the sheath down, so we want that sheath as close as possible uh, to the, uh, the aneurysm. I'm going to fast forward this just a little bit. Uh, catheter has now been placed inside the aneurysm, and you can see it's a beautiful little aneurysm, um, and unusual uh, in that it's not flush with the origins and fairly distal. This is ideal really for embolization. So the plan was to uh, use uh, coils uh, to embolize the aneurysm. Uh, you can see that our wire is, is embedded in there pretty well. Uh, we now got our diagnostic catheter seated way down inside the aneurysm. And we can start to deploy these coils. Uh, these are intercoils from Boston Scientific. Uh, these are detachable. You can actually uh, place them and then make a decision uh, before you fully deploy them whether, whether or not you like it or not. And these were 40 centimeter long, uh, 20 millimeter diameter coils. Obviously, we've got a lot of space. So the concept is that you start off with the uh, coils, with big coils, uh, and then you start to get further on to it. Uh, start packing uh, the interstices of this coil of the coils with smaller diameter coils. Um, so I'm going to wind this forward a little bit. You can see the coils packing this nicely. This is a relatively safe aneurysm. So we started off by 20 by 40s. We then went down to 15 by 20s. We're actually using up all the coils, and then we started using. 10 by 20 coils to actually pack at the inside of this. Um, yeah, they always seem to use more coils than uh, you think they're going to require. And one of the challenges, of course, is that once you get these um, coils packed in there, it's difficult to know where the end of your catheter is. And sometimes you can use a road map and to actually help you see this. So we're injecting now out with a catheter straight inside the engines when you see these branches coming out the bottom. Um, and we continue to pack them. Now, at this point in time, we also decided to get retrograde access, and so we now have a sheath, seven French sheath, up into the common iliac artery. And the reason for this is that we're going to uh, place a VBX between the end of the previous place autograph down into the external iliac. It also adds a little bit of safety. Uh, should you have any problems with the coils, I'll let you, you can be pretty aggressive in packing the coils, knowing that it's going to be excluded. And we did have a problem, um, and we'll show you really what, what happened with the coil. So the the sheath is up. We've not put a VBX in there quite yet. Now you can actually see that we've continued the packing. You can see the deformity that's actually occurred with the um, uh, the wires that are in there. Um, the, we're, we're still actually unpacking more coils into the origin of the internal iliac artery. And you'll see one of the issues that, that took place. So we're, we're packing more coils in there. Um, the VBX we brought up into place so we can deploy it whenever we need it. There's a VBX. 
and we blew it up, actually trapped the catheter. Um, again, the idea is I really want to get that stem of the internal iliac artery um, so that we take that branch out that you're looking right here. So now we've tracked the, uh, the catheter and we're packing more coils in here. So again, more coils in, we can see the branch is still there. We're going to pull the catheter back just a little bit. And of course the key is not pulling the whole catheter out of there. More coils pulling the catheter back, trying to get them now nicely prolapsing up into the uh, orifice of the internal iliac artery. We need another coil in there. Remember, it's always the last coil that gets you in trouble. So that's really beautiful. At this point in time, we're really happy. And we want to detach the coil. Um, and guess what? I want to detach. And it's probably because in the end of the delivery system, there's a little hook. Uh, normally, these engage one, and we couldn't get her off. And so here's what you really don't want to have happening. And that is starting to drag the coil back. Now, again, the VBX extends about a centimeter up uh, beyond the origin, but it's really you know, not much you can do here. You just kind of jiggle the catheter backwards and forwards and hope that it actually disengages. And we'll see that it actually pulls back a little bit further, although it remains outside the, the VBX. But this is, so at this point in time, you're really glad you got that VBX in there. And let me just go forward and show you what happened. It's probably just the angle of the catheter. It's almost like the hook of the detachment system has grasped a loop of that coil and it will not let it go and so i managed to pull that coil back a little bit again you, you know, know what you can do about it other than manipulate and then it suddenly it released and so it's still distal to the top of the vbx so at that point in time as your case is over um, and follow up this was a complete yeah, closure so uh, this is really a combination of showing how to um, seal off uh, the um, origin with the VBX while embolizing it. And here we can just, uh, there was a little bit of an end leak alongside the VBX. So we actually took that up to about uh, eight millimeters and you can see the whole thing is beautifully sealed off. So that's the way we did this. Thank you very much for your attention.